that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Hey, come on, come on, yeah. I don't want the fame, uh-uh, cause I don't want the uh, a two-step with me, come on, two-step with me, come on, uh, you would tell, actually, uh, one, two, three, talk to him. when I come to this game, man, to change your brain, when I come to... switching my hair up like I ain't got no business doing that like I this ain't me this ain't the life I want to live because this is a lot of work especially like with me like I like to do it myself so this is just too much work so for today's video we are doing butterfly locks on super long hair so I am going to part my hair off camera and do a couple butterfly locks just to see if I can actually do it because y'all know every time I do something it's literally the first time I ever do it. So I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll be back to show you what I did. I'll probably be like mostly done but it's gonna cut it's gonna cut the video time short honey i know y'all like y'all short videos okay so it's gonna cut the short the video short honey period so i'm gonna be back in literally a millisecond all right y'all so i decided to come back on camera just to show you what my parts look like um my mom actually has a part in the back of my head because i can't see right there so these are what the parts look like so I'm gonna go start my hair and then I'll come back on camera to show you how to actually do this look all right y'all so this is what we are looking like so far I have two braids left to show you guys how I did this look um it is the next day actually so it is Wednesday now and I started this Tuesday actually I started this Monday well the parting was Monday but you get my jit I started this on Tuesday and I'm almost done I wasn't sure if I liked like what was happening like I was debating on if I should just like completely take this down but I ended up feeling a little bit more comfortable so I'm gonna show y'all how to do these two so I'm gonna zoom y'all in and we're gonna get started so this is the free Tris water wave hair NTT 27 so the hair looks like this so you have the black on the top and then the blonde on the ends this is what it's looking like and honestly with these with this hairstyle I did say butterfly locks but it's now turning into a distressed look because I am very distressed right now and then for the um, gel I'm using the shine and jam this is in the yellow um, container and then I have my crochet needle right here and you may need some scissors so don't forget your scissors. So we are going to start finishing these last two. All right, so we are gonna take two strands of the Free Trist Water Wave braiding here, and we are gonna make sure that each side is even, making sure the black's at the top, the blonde is at the bottom, and then we're gonna start fraying the hair. So how I do this is I pull down with my index, middle, and thumb, just so I can like make the hair bigger so that when I go to wrap the locks, it's not like a super skinny lock. So 
So taking the crochet needle and putting it through the base of the braid, we are going to pull this hair through. So I actually messed up on this part and y'all are gonna see why. So it's super important that once you pull this hair through, since you've already like frayed and made the hair bigger, that you catch the loop because now I don't I don't know where to pull. Like you see you see my struggle. I started pulling the same like both strands through so that it ended up being like me pulling the hair just through the, the base of the braid. So we're gonna have to start over. Alright so starting back at the beginning so once again I'm going to put this crochet needle through the base of this braid and I'm going to hook the hair onto the needle and pull it all the way through. Now once you catch the loop as you can see that loop right there pull one side of the hair through so that each side of the braiding hair like one of the sides of the braiding hair is on each side of the base of the braid if that makes sense. So you're basically going to have two strands as you can see you have those two strands you're going to take that braid and put it on one side of the braiding hair the side with the braid you're actually going to pull the hair down because on the side without the braid I wanted that ombre that blonde to start a little bit higher on this particular lock so how to wrap the hair I'm going to start wrapping going forward so as you can see I'm pulling the hair forward and keeping the hair flat, the braiding hair flat, you're just gonna wrap the base, wrap around the base two to three times so you can get that tight, clean lock look at the base of the hair. And then keeping the same flatness going all the way down because I didn't wanna start the distressed look until I got to the blonde part of the braid. And I'm just gonna wrap this all the way down and I'll explain the next steps after you see this part. So once you come to the end of that first braiding hair, you're just going to keep wrapping. Honestly, the more you wrap, the more it will lock into place. So I don't know if y'all saw that little hand movement in order for me, because I'm at the end of the braid now. Okay, I'm at the end. So basically what I did is I created a loop around my pointer, pointer finger and then wrap the hair behind the lock, as you can see. And then I'm just going to wrap all the way back up the lock because honestly I didn't want to cut the hair because my hair is long and I honestly didn't want to chop my hair off. So with this part you can do it a little bit more loosely just so you can get that distressed look so it doesn't have to be super tight. This can honestly be as loose as you want it to be. And then like I did with the other one just wrap it until you have no more hair to wrap and then run it through the palms of your hands to actually lock the lock in place. So this next strand is going to be a little bit different because it's longer than where I want the lock to stop. So I'm actually going to crochet my hair into my hair creating a loop and you'll kind of see it right now. So creating that loop just so I can get the length of how long I want this lock to be. And I did this for a majority of my hair. I only didn't do it for the last lock because it was the length of where I wanted that lock to be. If you need the length of the lock to be longer or shorter, longer pull down on the loop, shorter pull up on the extra hair just so you can make it shorter so now we are going to do the same method crochet the crochet needle through the base of the braid pull this hair through catching the loop So once you have those two strands, like I said, it doesn't matter which side you put this loose braid on. Last time I put it going towards my left, this time it's going towards my right. And I'm going to now be wrapping the hair going backwards. 
so it just really depends on it honestly doesn't really matter it just depends on which side you take the braid on I took the braid on the right side this time so I twisted the hair going back the first time it was on the left so I twisted the hair going forward whatever your preference is that's what it's gonna be so making sure that you keep this hair flat wrap the hair three two to three times at the base of the hair and then wrap it on down how I managed to secure my real hair was that I took the loose strand and brought it to the back of the free tris braiding hair and just tried to braid the hair down because sometimes when you're holding on to the braiding hair plus your real hair as you're wrapping you will start pulling down your natural hair and you'll lose that loop in the length that you wanted. So just make sure that you have a not so strong hand when you're holding the braid plus the braiding hair as you're wrapping the hair down. So once you get the hair towards the back of the braiding hair, just start wrapping normally all the way down until you get to the end and then just secure the end. So as you can see, I have an extra piece or an extra some extra hair where the loop is and you're just going to wrap that second strand of braiding hair normally down until you get to the very end and then you're gonna do that loop action that I showed previously. Now that you're at the end, you're going to do the loop action. Now, I did run into some problems while doing the loop action because I know these two times it worked with me wrapping it around and going towards the back of the braiding hair. But sometimes when you loop it, you will have to wrap in front of the braiding hair because you need that end to be secure and just a nice little cute little loop. And you'll notice it because it will unravel at the base if it's not secured correctly. So we're just gonna wrap this all the way up, run it through the palm of your hands, and you are good to go, okay? So now we are doing my baby hairs. Y'all know I love to do baby hairs because I just feel like baby hairs tie the look together. Um, I'm going in with the Shine and Jam for this and just my toothbrush. Y'all have seen this before, so I'm not gonna talk. Any, any. Right, y'all. This is it. I go to Puerto Rico in like two nights. At least I'm done with my hair. So, everyone, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. If you are new to my channel, join the Bomb Squad because we are the realest squad on the internet. Also, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box below. But I look forward to seeing y'all in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.